And right now at 11, a clash between protesters and police during the Pomona College graduation. News Chopper 4 was over the line of officers dressed in riot gear after the LAPD declared an unlawful assembly. Yeah, the school had already adjusted its plans to today's ceremony because of those demonstrators. Let's get to NBC 4's Karma Dickerson. She is live with the impact. Karma. You mentioned an adjustment to plans. That adjustment included moving the ceremony all the way from Pomona here to L.A. near USC. And the hopes was having a more controlled ceremony, a situation that was easier to get a handle on, potentially a more calm graduation. But when some attendees arrived today, that certainly was not the case. While hundreds gathered inside the Shrine Auditorium to celebrate the Pomona College Class of 2024, this was happening outside. <laughs> Part of ongoing protests related to Pomona College, mirroring demonstrations nationwide in solidarity with the Palestinian people. The graduates were bused to L.A. after the college moved their ceremony, which was previously scheduled for 10 a.m. on the Pomona campus, to the Shrine Auditorium in hopes of separating it from the demonstrations on campus. However, demonstrators put out a call to make a stand outside the new location. LAPD says the protester crowd grew from 50 to about 200. Efforts to get graduation attendees to the ceremony and past the protesters went smoothly on one street, according to police. However, unfortunately, the group on Jefferson's side came around, became combative with officers, and that's where we had to create a skirmish line. Our cameras captured officers in an altercation with a man who they took into custody. LAPD confirms they arrested one person. Um, unfortunately, a help call had to, had to go get put out amongst one of the officers, so we got resources from different divisions that are nearby. And everybody was uh, safely put into their place, including, including the officers are safe too. Meanwhile, about 400 graduates and their families did their best to adapt to this modified celebration of a major milestone. Lots of people can't come. Um, I have family that's not going to be able to make it to this because they have flights tonight. Um, I have friends who aren't going to be able to graduate because they have flights tonight. People like me, I'm traveling from Puerto Rico, you know, and I had to change. The graduation was at 10 a.m. and then it changed to 6 p.m. My flight was going out of Ontario at 10. Now I had to cancel, change flights, go overnight back to Puerto Rico because I take call tomorrow. So right at around 6 o'clock at the time of graduation was starting is when we saw those major clashes between protesters and police. By 8 o'clock, though, things had calmed down significantly. And by 9, when graduation was letting out, we really just saw sort of a return to normalcy, calm. By the time people were being bussed out or people were walking out of the ceremony, there was largely not a big protester uh, presence still left here. And so that's where we are right here tonight. Things quiet again at the the Shrine Auditorium. Reporting live, I'm Carmen Dickerson, NBC4 News.